Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Would you like to make 30% return over 14 days on a $100 investment? Today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. So on this channel we talk about how to grow our wealth with the goal to help educate people and show them that financial independence can be achieved with the right plan and tools in place. One of those tools, in my opinion, is M1 Finance. I've done a couple of different videos on this in the past and this one I'm going to use to show you three things. One, I wanna show you my current portfolio, where I'm headed, where I'm going. Number two, I wanna show you my long-term plan for this account because that's really important. When you're trying to achieve financial independence, you wanna know where you're headed. And number three, I wanna show you that 30% return. So if you're curious, please stick around. Whoop! So obviously I'm a big fan of M1 Finance. I think if you're committed to growing your money long-term using the stock market, it's a great option. Um, I'm also a believer in four things that M1 kind of helps you automate. The first one being pay yourself first. So you can set up automatic investing with M1. It means you can take five, 10, 15% of your paycheck, automatically have it deposited right into M1, invested for you, hands off, no big problem. So it checks that box. Number two is knowing where the money goes. Well, obviously, if you automate investing, you kind of know where that chunk is going. So you know you're going to be growing financially because you're putting that in every paycheck. The third one is living below your means. So just by this simple process, when you automate this, you know you've got to live within your means because that money is going to be gone. So it helps you out with all three of those. And the last one is time in the market. So if you do this today and you get started, and you dollar cost average over a long period of time, well, your wealth is going to continue to grow. Time in the market is more valuable than any of the other three put together. You wanna to make sure that you have time in the market. So M1, in my opinion, helps you automate so many of these tasks, and that's why it's such a great investment vehicle. So get started today. Okay, so let's talk about that 30% guaranteed return that I promised at the top of the show. Um, I've got an affiliate link down below, and please hear me out, this is gonna help we're gonna donate some money, okay? So if you use that affiliate link and you go sign up for a new M1 account and you deposit $100, after 14 days, they're gonna give you $30. So this is a great way for you to test out M1 and see if this ticks all the boxes and works well for you. Plus, you get a 30% return. Now, on the other side, I get 30 bucks as well, and I'm gonna donate 100% of all those proceeds, anything that I receive, to the Parkinson's Foundation to help people that have to deal with that kind of crap because you know, I've got it pretty easy when I look at people that have to deal with that kind of thing. So let's help some people out and help you out as well. Sound good? I'm also planning more content for M1 Finance if you're a big fan. So like and subscribe if you're looking for this type of content. Ring that little bell. Uh, in the future, I've got one planned already. I'm going to call it the Ignore It Portfolio. Basically, how you can set up a portfolio in M1, turn it on, and really just automate investing and turn a walk away because i believe there's a lot of people out there that yes they want the wealth they want the financial independence they don't necessarily want to spend their days researching stocks and learning all the nitty-gritty details so this is one way um, that you could probably go about that so be on the lookout for that something else i mentioned at the top of the show was i was going to say what was my long-term goal so i think setting long-term goals is vitally important when you're setting financial goals you want to know where you're headed so I plan this all out on a spreadsheet. I'll show you that spreadsheet at a future date. Right now though, the general idea is $1 million. It's kind of an arbitrary number. I think a lot of people would say $1 million. Well, the true idea is financial independence, but I have money spread about in a lot of different places. So for this account, it's $1 million. And then hopefully be able to drain off about $30,000 a year in dividend income. Maintain the million dollars. That's my kind of goal. I think just if you have something like that, you start putting it on paper, it helps you realize and focus in on what you really want to accomplish. Remember, when we talk about goals and things like that, my mentality is that I want the market to pull back. I don't want it to just keep going up and to the right. I want pullback so I can buy more. I'm a long-term investor. I hate that it always just keeps going up and I don't want it now. I want it in the future because I'm a long-term investor. So when we have those three bad days in a row and you want to go turn on CNBC and they're blasting out everything in red, you know, the market will never recover. We are all doomed, blood in the water. What's the president going to do? Those are laughable. As long as you keep the mentality that you're a long-term investor, you're looking for that market pullback. So I did a video on dollar cost averaging, explains all this. Go watch that too, because it'll help you get mentally prepared. When you start working with M1, 
You're not even going to care. When it pulls back, you're going to celebrate, you put more in. Okay, so with all that said, let's take a look at my portfolio. Now, I am a pretty passive investor when it comes to M1. So I lock in what I want to buy, and that's what I stick with. Now, coming out of the pandemic, I'm going to be cleaning some things up, and we'll discuss that. Okay, guys, I'm logged in, and this is my home page. As you can see, I'm up to about $88,000, and I've had a nice return of over 33% for the last uh, since inception, I suppose is what that is. That's the all-time return. Now, I think everybody's probably had a pretty good return if they've been investing over the last year. So hats off to you if you've been investing over the last year. Continue on that path. There's going to be good years and there's going to be bad years. Uh, but uh, you can see your amount over time, and I love the whole pie concept. If you're not familiar with that, I did a video, my very first one. It's a little goofy, but go watch that, and it kind of explains the uh, whole pie concept. Um, so as you grow these, you can see some that are overweight and some that are underweight. So whenever you make a new contribution, you should go to those underweighted ones and kind of fill out your portfolio. You can always rebalance, but I try to avoid that because that means I'm going to realize some capital gains when they sell some of those stocks and buy in others. So just keep that in mind. I try not to rebalance. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't. If something gets really out of whack and you want to sell off that position, it's very understandable. Um, but these pieces, these pies break down into these chunks here. So I've got my ETF chunk, financial, dividend, staples, and then you have their weights and your targets that you're looking for. So if I click into my staples, just to give you a quick idea, I've got like CVS, Home Depot, and Costco in there, those types of things. So, um, and then it shows that individual pie. So this piece of the pie fits into the bigger piece of the pie, and that's the idea. Um, if I go over to my holdings though, we're going to just kind of work down through these really quickly. If you have questions at all on why do you have that, why, why do you, why'd you include that in that portfolio, um, ask down below. I'll explain my position and why. So Crown Castle International is my largest one at $6,000. And you see that I, you know, it's pretty broad. A lot of these are in the $1,000 range with the highest one being $6,000. So at the top here, I've got lots of banks that have done pretty well. I've got Well Tower, Wells Fargo, which I probably would reduce if I could, and I probably will look at doing that, not adding to it in the future. American Express, JP Morgan, so lots of banks. Um, and as you scroll down, you can kind of see what else I've got. Everything from General Mills to CVS, to Caterpillar to Home Depot. So lots of the big guys that you're familiar with. I like to buy what I know. Um, then I also got a lot of emerging markets and European ETFs just to kind of buy the market. So this is definitely one that if you bought all these stocks, you could turn walk away, auto invest, and feel pretty secure about what you're investing in. And if you wanted to get rid of some of the individual stocks and go with more ETFs, just to even have that more level of comfort, you could do that. Ask down below again, and I will explain why I picked these positions. So uh, you can see what else I've got in here. Everything, Pfizer, AMD, Microsoft, CRM, so Salesforce. Now down here at the bottom, I've got a few that have performed really well, and they're airline stocks. So these are recovery plays. And these are ones that I'm actually going to probably sell out of and get rid of just to clean up these positions. So uh, the only one that I might consider keeping would be Southwest because I like that airline. The rest of them, it's not that I don't like them. I'm just not a big believer in airlines long term. Recovery play, yes. Now I might get those out of there and buy something I'm a firmer believer in for a long period of time. So that's that. I mean, any questions, like I said, please ask down below. Why are you holding that, Dave? That's crazy. So you can also see in, I guess real quick, funding history from last year to this year, $51,000 last year and 22 this year. Um, and then uh, activity. So every time you receive a dividend, I love that they kind of tell you right away, it comes over, you see it on your phone and you're like, lunch is free today. So one of the reasons I like m and also. So again, questions, I've got answers. One other item too, since we talked about this referral code and the $30 bonus and the donation, uh, make sure you read down through here and you understand exactly what you have to do and to get that $30. So it looks like you know you have to have this account for 30 days. Uh, for an individual account, it looks like you need to have uh, a minimum of $100 deposited into that account. And it looks like it gets paid after 14 days. But if you have any other questions too about this promotion, uh, ask me down below and I'll try to dig up the information. Okay, so there's my account as it stands today. I plan on continuing to use M1. I am a big fan. I will continue to contribute to this account and provide updates. Please, if 
You can use that affiliate link if you want to sign up for an account. We'll stop out some Parkinson's along the way. I really appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Have a great night. Take care. Whoop.